Hey guys, Finn here. Welcome back to a oh, to to a new video. Where today we are going to be building Jeff's shop from doors. So obviously, this is from the new Hotel Plus update. Don't mind my skin. I've just been uh, filming a parody for Charles. If you are uh, like, if Stampy was um, a part of your childhood and you don't mind a bit of PG 13 content, go ahead, check him out. Anyway, um, so this is uh, Jeff himself. I've decided to add in the entity because I can. And then obviously, you've got his radio, you've got the four items on the desk, you've got the chairs where. Um, El Goblino, I think his name is, or something like that. And, um, Harold? Jeremy? I don't know, one of the basic names. Uh, sit here. They both sit here. And, yeah. Then, obviously, you've got the broken pillar and the other four, or the other three surrounding it. You've got the exit door, and then just the general shape of the room. So today we're going to be building this room. If you do want to see some more Doors Hotel Plus update tutorials, let me know. I don't mind doing them sometimes. Um, and also, before we begin, Happy New Year! Obviously, if you haven't um, already heard me say it, Happy New Year, this skin feels really weird. But yeah, Happy New Year, I hope you all have the best 2023. I hope I can upload a bit more. There was already one video planned to come out, um, which wasn't this one, but I had to scrap because uh, the audio was a bit too quiet, which is upsetting. But oh well. Right. Let's um. Well, yeah. Without further ado, let's just get into the. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to place your door down on top of a spruce plank. Now this door is going to be the one that connects to all the other rooms. That's what I've realised I've kind of not been doing this entire time in these tutorials, which is um, a bit hard. But yeah, this is going to be your door to um, enter and exit. So what you want to do is, after that, let me pull up my picture. Okay, so what you want to do is, with your spruce plank, you want to go back 16, so uh, 1, not like not including the first one. 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 16. Okay, let's bring the other version of Minecraft up to the other screen, there we go. And then you want to go across 4 either side, 1, 2, 3, 4. One, two, three, four. And then what you want to do is just connect this up to make the entire flooring. This will be the main foundation of your uh, of your build. You don't need to go all the way to the end. Just come one block to the end, so yeah. So just where you started the count. Because um, the other one is going to be underneath the wall. Okay, right. Now that we have done that, um, we're going to build, um, let's see, let's build the walls. So what we're going to have to do is just do the default wall. So we need the spruce again, we need red terracotta, torches, we need, um, let's see, grab some dark oak stairs looms and bookshelves and then we can just get to building one thing I do want to mention about oh, oops, it's on this block one thing I do want to mention about uh, doors is that this room at least well I mean the entire hotel but still right so what you want to do is as you can see make a whole layer of uh, spruce 
going around it. Um, one diagonal up from from this one, one diagonal up and out. And then on top of that, two layers of red terracotta. Also, what I do want to say is, um, like the rest of the hotel, this room is randomised. So, the actual contents in the room usually isn't randomised. But some of the furniture and um, yeah, some of the furniture and the wall colour and stuff, sometimes those are random. So there could be a blue room, a green room, a red room, a red room with drawers, with bookshelves, a blue room with drawers or bookshelves, so on and so forth. So just um, keep note of that whenever you're building this, because this one is just a variant of the room. Right, and then what you want to do is break out these two, place your uh, spruce underneath, and place your door like that. And then you can grab your sign, your oak sign, place it here, and on the second line, put 0053. Because usually, if you ever have this room, it would be the 50 second room. Okay, so once you've done that, all we need to do is place your spruce plank row around the outside again just on top of the red row that you've just done right also I do want to point out um, speaking of the doors hotel update basically I have made room 100 but it's the old version of it so it is the older um, pre room pre hotel plus update version would you still want to see a tutorial on it, or would you just rather wait for a new, um, completed uh, Hotel Plus update version? Just let me know, because, yeah. Okay, so, the next thing that we're going to do are the bookshelves. So, let's see... So the next things that we're going to do are the bookshelves and the torches. So the first torch goes right here. Basically you want um, one block gap from the wall. And this, also by the way, this is, I'm the wrong side. This is near the entrance, uh, near the entrance door basically. Right there. <clears throat> right, and then what you want to do is go across three blocks so one two three and then break out these two um so those two and the one above and below and just place your spruce there then leave a gap and do the same again and then what you want to do is come to the back and fill these in with um looms and bookshelves now if you want you can have them be a random pattern that's if you want. Usually I like to kind of do similar to the game. So let's see. So the first one is so this one is uh so it's three bookshelves in the bottom corner and then three looms in the top corner. Then this is just a whole row of looms, no bookshelves at all. And then you want to leave a gap of two, and then do one more. And this one is kind of like a jigsaw pan. So there's a loom there, bookshelf, loom, uh, a bookshelf, loom, loom, bookshelf. So it looks like that. Okay, and then what you want to do is also place your torch there. And uh, let's see. You also want to place your torch one block at oh, one block after this one so right there and then you can grab your dark oak stairs and place down your stairs on top of it like that and there is your bookshelf and like I um, said with the randomization usually the bookshelves are also randomized so if there is a room with bookshelves it doesn't always have the same amount of books on it I honestly can't believe the amount of script work this game has is done. Right, and then what you want to do is you can get rid of your... Wait. No, don't. Keep them. Keep these. 
just move them into your inventory or something. But okay. Um, and what you want to do is you want to grab a flower pot and a uh, azalea. Just, just, a, just an azalea. And basically, these go one block. Oh, I know. Is it two blocks away? It is. Yeah. Two blocks away, so one block from the wall. And these are just your plants that um, doors usually has in almost every room. All right, there you go. Now we can move on to this wall, which obviously this wall is the exciting wall. Now, um, what we're gonna do is first break out these two. He uh, well, these. Uh, six here then again place your spruce planks underneath same again on the other side so one away like that and you could probably guess these are going to be bookshelves and rooms uh, let's grab your dock upstairs as well so the first one is just a copy of this one so it's got um, just opposite that's all so first is bookshelves in the bottom corner no, it was bookshelves in the bottom corner, so it's looms in the bottom corner. Then bookshelves in the top. And then on here is just... Uh, this side is loom. So two looms, two bookshelves, two looms. And those are your bookshelves completed. Let's just... Um, there we go. Now you can get rid of these. And you can grab out your torches. Actually, wait, I don't think there are any torches on this wall. No, there's no more torches. So you can get rid of your torch as well. So what you want to grab out are... A barrel, spruce stairs. So grab out your spruce stairs. Barrel. Uh, grab out your spruce planks back as, as well. Uh, you want stripped, stripped oak wood. Um, you want string. You want pack, uh, packed. I oh, know it's a uh, mud brick. Sorry, you want a mud brick wall. Then you want a bunch of different carpets. So you want white, light grey, um, yellow, and red as well. Right, and then we can start on Jeff's shop. So two away from here, so one, two. Break out all of these and leave the two gap again on that side, I think. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, right. I think I've messed up. Let's see. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. What? I am so confused. Oh my, that's why. Okay, right. Also, I've just realized I've not done these. So let's just fix these. Well, I see what I've done, don't worry, it's fine. What you want to do is take this bookshelf and move it over by one. So it's only one block away. Break these. Grab your red. 
so let's just fill that in. Um, let's see, and then we also want to, oops, change this to be like that. There we go. And then on the outer side as well, we just want the looms and the bookshelf. Oh, there we go. Okay, right, I think we have fixed the issue. Um, perfect. Oh, I've deleted the spruce slab, or the spruce block. There we go. Okay. Finally. What you want to do is come over to this bookshelf that we've just changed and place a stripped um, oak wood block here. And then you want to place a block here. Because uh, now it should be... Oh yeah, hold up, sorry, I've missed a bit. Then you want to change it to be two blocks away so it looks like that. There you go, so that is what it should look like. <sighs> I'm so sorry. All right. What you want to do is place three um, little stumps, I guess, like that. And then you want to place string in these two. And you want to place your red carpet here, yellow carpet here, white carpet here, light grey carpet here. Then you can get rid of your carpets and your string. Um, you want to place your mud brick wall there and you can get rid of that. Right, there we go. Now we can do the little things. So, right here, I think, where is it? Okay, so it's basically diagonal meant to the to the left of uh, this. You want to place your barrel there. Same on the other side, so diagonal to the left, so right there. And then same on the opposite side, so right there. And right... For example, a team armed force, team of adversaries, enemy obstetra opposite one, or more, others, as in a battle of team of adversaries. What? All we're going to do is just place two spruce planks on top of that, on each one, apart from this one. This one, what you want to do is place down your stair facing that way, and then um, just go up two for now, and then place your stair facing that way. So it looks something like that. Actually, you can place another spruce plank on each one after that. There we go. Okay, so that kind of has to represent that this column has been a bit broken. Okay. So now what you want to do is grab out um, grab out some blackstone walls. You want to grab out some blackstone walls, black concrete, and diamond block. And what you want to do is build a row underneath there, I believe. Oh no, that's spruce. This is spruce. So that's spruce, and then you want to do a full row of black concrete around the edges. And you want this to come out uh, three blocks. So one, two, and three. There you go. And then fill in the back as well. Just so we've got no light seeping in. Well, where you block a diamond then, um, basically straight down here. Leave a gap and there. That is where you want to place your diamond blocks. So it looks like the eyes or something. And then with your blackstone wall, what you want to do is, let's see, okay, uh, you want to place one there, one there, go up one, and then two more. So it has this kind of shape, and that's supposed to be a tentacle. And then over here, the opposite side, you want to do... Uh, one here, one here, and then two going up like that. 
There you go, there is Jeff in all of his glory. And then you can get rid of those three blocks because you're not going to need them again. Okay, right. Now we just gotta have, uh, we just gotta add in a few more things. So you can get rid of your brap. Uh, wait, can you? No, don't grab your barrel back again. So you want your barrel, you want your stairs, planks. You don't need. Wait, do you? Because of that. Yeah, you do, you do, you do. Okay, then you want um, brown carpet, spruce, uh, spruce signs, oak signs, uh, chain, and also oak, oak stairs. Okay, right. So the first thing you want to do is come over to Jeff's shop and in the centre block there's going to be a hanging sign. Now obviously hanging signs are um, added in the newest version of Minecraft which is 1.20 but it's not out yet. So the, the way to do it at the moment is just place a chain going down like that with a sign in front of it and the sign no matter what it is needs to on the second line say G E F F so Jeff then it needs to say two H O P shop. There we go and then that is Jeff's shop. You can get rid of those two blocks. You grab out um another another flower pot and also a azalea again. And this just goes right here. They can get rid of those two. Okay. So now we're going to add in the little table that uh, the two boys, or the two things, sit up. So basically what you want to do is... Um, uh, let's see. So basically it's on this red block, diagonal, straight across to the middle, and one across. So it's here. So from this post, it goes one, two, one. You want to place two signs like that. You want to place a stripped oak wood there. Place another stair there with two signs again, and you can get rid of your sign and oak stairs. Then with your brown carpet, you want to place two, three, I think. Actually. Yeah, three from the door. Um, no, what three? Free carpet, one away from the door, and the two ends need to be uh, diagonal touching those posts. Right. Now, I think. Oh, uh, speak. I think it is time to finish off the roofs. So, let me just see. On top of these posts, you just want to add in a barrel. Make sure it's facing upwards. Right, there we go. And then you want to place um, either end, one, two. So either side, not the front and back, just the left and the right. You want to place a row of upside down stairs, like, try and make them uh, all face the right way. There we go. Right, and yeah, you want to place these uh, two rows diagonally. Uh, if I can even reach, there we go. So that's your first row, and then one diagonal of that again. Oh yeah, and then the ones on top of these pillars, however, you can make them be backwards, just to look like a block, instead of um, a stair. And then carry on, I'm sorry if it's a bit unclear, it's just, I'm bad at speaking. Right, there you go. And then, same on the other, so two backwards stairs on top of these. Place down your stairs going across. Luckily, you've always got the visuals. Come on, can I reach? There we go, okay. And then go across. Again, on here, actually, as well, you can place down a backwards stair to look like a block. 
just to make it oh you can actually place a block down if you like but I just do stairs because that's what I've got in my hand is it gonna no great am I gonna have to go down here and fidgetly yep there we go on top of here as well going straight across Oh, right there you go, once you have done that you can fill in either end with your spruce block so the front and back of the building you want to be your spruce block like uh, this, there we go so it looks like that then you can get rid of your brown carpet and your stripped oak with planks you can grab out some more chains and a lant well, a few lanterns and you also want dark oak stairs and slabs uh, let's grab out oh. no whoops dark oak stairs and slabs and we can finally get on with the building so then on top of all this you just want to do a big block of wood so it just looks like this So no more stairs, so you can actually get rid of your stairs and barrel. No, you don't need them. Because you are almost done with the build. Let's just finish off the roof. There we go. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay. And then what you want to do is off of this pillar here, you want to place your slab uh, your stair facing inwards like that. You want to place a row of um, slabs, one in the middle coming down to make a block, a chain, and a lantern. Same on the opposite side, so two stairs, a row of slabs, one in the middle, chain, lantern. And boom, there you have it. That is your uh, little Jeff's shop room completed. Now, oh wait, no, sorry, there is literally one more thing that we need to add which is a, uh, a stripped oak wood right there there we go and now it's completed so um thank you all so much for uh, watching obviously this one was quite a short tutorial like I said um, like I said not too long ago let me know if you would rather see the door 100 um, tutorial have the old version or the new version because personally if I was you I would like the older version for now but then maybe when the doors update becomes uh, like less relevant then switch to the newer version but like I said up to you guys I'm not the one who are building these in the, like their own world I just make them for you so let me know in the comments what you think happy new year and if my voice sounds a bit raspy today, it's because I probably just woke up, like the first um, reception video, or it, I may, I do have a cold actually, so yeah, that's also probably a factor why my voice is a bit off. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do leave a like and subscribe. That would help me out a lot. Um, like I said, go check out Charlie, that's, um, we filmed a bunch of videos for him, I feature over on his channel, and, yeah, that's basically it. Also, if you like, um, if you have an interest in Stampy, I would recommend checking out Ben's channel, just be, uh, well, it's called Ben and Jack's Let's Play, because, um, I've just edited a huge video for him, which is the new download of the map. So, yeah, anyway. Like I said, subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.